Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. That's right, it's hat day. I always like things with a script on them, so go pack, go. And I also enjoy Topps Composite. It's been a lot of fun opening cards and seeing all of the Hall of Famers, but also some of the lesser known players. Uh, yes, we got this Dan Pastorini autograph. I mean, what a beautiful signature he has. And I was like, I don't know too much about him. Some people kind of said some things in the comments. Um, Justin, three good nerds, also told me about the cowboy we pulled yesterday. I, was, I already forgot about him. I always forget about the cowboys. I'm sorry. But uh, Dan, he had an interesting uh, life. He did play football. And one story that I found was he actually got into a fight with a reporter. And this reporter was his friend. And it kind of goes back to if that's your job and you're kind of on the other side reporting, you can't have this buddy-buddy relationship. And um, you can go back, you can look it up. You know, some things in there may not be uh, family friend friendly like we like to have around here. But they were in the weight room and um, some words were said. And Dan, he tossed this uh, reporter onto the floor, actually landed on Bum Phillips. And he said if he didn't land on Bum Phillips' stomach, he probably would have had a severe uh, concussion. And um, one of the things I also heard was a lot of the reporters like to dress like Bum Phillips. They would wear the cowboy boots, the, uh, the leather jacket, or the jean jacket, and the sunglasses. Just It was an interesting article to read, so go ahead. Dan Pastorini, look him up. He had a movie career, some of the good movies. Um, he also was in, not NASCAR, but drag racing. He raced drag, uh, drag racing. He had one event championship in 1986 in Atlanta. Maybe uh, Zach Sports Cards and Collections, he was at the race there that day. I don't know. But, um, yeah, pretty neat. You know, he has a winning playoff record, 3-2 uh, and two record with the Houston Oilers. So it's fun to look up these players and find out just who they were. All right, class is in session. Today is Wednesday, September 25th, lesson number 30, which last year went out to Amon Green, one of my favorites, uh, Spine Ticks. He showed me his... Uh, I'm on green when he called them out, and that was awesome. Batman, he was one of my favorite Green Bay Packers, but today it goes to Clark Hinkle. He was a Green Bay Packer from 1932 to 1941. Uh, most of those years, he was on the All-Pro uh, first team, two NFL championships. He's a Hall of Famer. Now, he was a fullback. He was a linebacker. Also did some punting and some place kicking, and Curly Lambeau called him the toughest player during the Iron Man era. I mean, what better compliment could you get? The Green Bay Packers also named one of their practice fields after Clark Kinkle. Just, you know, being a tough guy out on the practice field, that's where championships are made. Speaking of tough guys, Brett Favre, my favorite football player of all time. Again, he made growing up on the south side of Chicago as a Packer fan. Easy heard yesterday that he does have uh, Parkinson's disease. And whenever we hear famous athletes or famous people in general that do uh, have cancer or disease, whatever it might be, you know, we're always you know, thinking about them, but also remember those everyday people that are facing those daily struggles, whether they're family members, uh, friends. So definitely Brett Favre keeping you in our prayers, but also think about those other people out there that are also going through those terrible things daily. Um, it's also 1965, the year my dad grade, uh, graduated high school, Scottie Pippen's birthday. Man, the Batman to the Robin right there with Michael Jordan. Scottie Pippen was a great basketball player to watch, and um, he gets that bad rep and uh, rap of no Pippen, or no tipping Pippen, but I mean, he was fun to watch as a bull, and as a kid, just you know, knowing that he was there on Michael's side made the Bulls invincible. All right, let's get to some cards. All right, so we're going to go a little bit old school here. Some Mosaic uh, 2021. Let me know. If you were drafting number one, if you were the Jacksonville Jaguars, who would you take with that number one pick? Now, when the summer first started, I would probably still take Trevor Lawrence, but uh, things have not gone well for the Jacksonville Jag Jaguars. I would not pick Justin Lawrence. I'm not sure who I would, though. I mean, there's plenty of good um, defensive players. Micah Parsons, uh, 
Penny Swell, name a few. Um, wide receivers to pick. But, you know, I just don't think the quarterback would be the way to go in that draft. Um, Dolphin was uh, Jalen Waddell, Jamar Chase, all of those guys. The two who you do not want to see, Charles Tillman, Peanut Tillman, all Chicago Bear fans right there. We'll put Peanut up, up on the stand there. The old Peanut Punch. Um, luckily, I didn't get any huge um, Justin, or not Justin Fields, but um, I don't remember their names now. Zach Wilson, Mac Jones. I never got any huge cards uh, for them. I did have some pretty nice Adrian Peterson. That looks like... It's not a Genesis. It kind of looked like the first second go off camera. No, just a silver. Um, man, Mac Jones. I had some of their decent cards. I had more uh, Justin Fields and um, Trevor Lawrence cards that were good. But, man, I've been giving out uh, tongue tight here this, uh, this afternoon, folks. Mac Jones and Zach Wilson cards to the students now for quite some time. Dan Fouts, Smith Marset. Old Benny Skoranek, he went to the University of Notre Dame for one year. We're not going to bring up the transfer portal, though. But, yeah, who would you pick? A Devonta Smith, another player. Uh, Najee Harris, another one. Uh, you know, not doing great. Uh, Jeremiah Awusa koromoa out of the University of Notre Dame. I wouldn't mind having him. DeAndre Swift, man, Bears Radio. And the reason I'm doing all of, them, all of this, again, I got to go fast today, folks. I do got a, a little meeting here at lunch, so I'm kind of rambling a little bit. But um, folks are beside themselves on Chicago Sports Talk Radio. They're blaming DeAndre St uh, Swift. They're blaming this person, blaming that person. And Justin Fields doing well is pretty much what's ruining it for all the Chicago Bears. J.C. Horn. Uh, the Packers did get Eric Stokes in this draft. He is still a Packer. Stephon Diggs. Uh, but let me know, if you had the number one pick in the 2021 draft, who would you take? All right, Jaden Daniels is in this product. My main man, uh, Dan, over at DM, Hockey Cards, Hockey Stick Talk Nation. He is a big, um, I want to say Washington Redskins, but was it Washington Commanders now, Washington football team. And he wants that Jaden Daniels rookie card. And Graham does have one for his SEP. I say, yeah, I'll, I'll open up a few packs here, see what we can get. Marvin Harrison Jr., Early talk for Rookie of the Year, Marvin Harrison Jr. And a lot of people on talk radio are now saying, I wanted Jaden Daniels. I did not want Caleb Williams. Chicago radio was crazy, folks. Nick Chubb, Brian Thomas Jr. And it's always the worst for the Bears. Because if you think of the city of Chicago... You know, probably, I mean, to be nice, I'll just say half of us are Cubs fans, half of us are Sox fans. Um, but everyone around here, except me, of course, is a Chicago Bear fan. Jordan Travis. And that middle card is where our rookie's going to be. One more chance, Dan, for that uh, Jaden Dan's. But don't worry, we got more score a treat. And don't worry, I will be passing some of these out in the classroom and at home. I hid some of the bundles. All right, come on. Let's give it to us. Let's give it to us. Kool-Aid. Well, shout out to Pick 6 Cards. I know he likes that guy right there. I thought he was going to be a Green Bay Packer, actually, but what do I know? Classes dismissed.